You are just, O Lord, and your judgment is right. Treat your servant in accord with your merciful love. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I have been told as an undoubted fact that one of you is living with his father's wife. This is a case of sexual immorality among you. There must be unparall unparalleled even among pagans. How can you be so proud of yourselves? You should be in mourning. A man who does a thing like that ought to have been expelled from the community. Though I am far away in body, I am with you in spirit and have already condemned the man who did this thing as if I were actually present. When you are assembled together in the name of the Lord Jesus and I am spiritually present with you, then with the power of our Lord Jesus, he is to be handed over to Satan so that his sensual body may be destroyed and his spirit saved on the day of the Lord. The pride that you have taken in yourselves is hardly to your credit. You must know how even a small amount of yeast is enough to leaven all the dough. So get rid of all the old yeast and make yourselves into a completely new batch of bread unleavened as you are meant to be. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Let us celebrate the feast then by getting rid of all the old yeast of evil and wickedness, having only the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lead me in your justice, Lord. Lead me in your justice, Lord. You are no God, allows evil. No sinner is your guest. The bows shall not stand their ground before your face. Lead me in your justice, Lord. You hate all that do evil. You destroy all who lie. The deceitful and bloodthirsty man, the Lord detests. Lead me in your justice, Lord. All those you protect shall be glad and ring at their joy. You shelter them in you, they rejoice those who love your name. Lead me in your justice, Lord. Alleluia. 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 My sheep listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On the Sabbath, Jesus went into the synagogue and began to teach. And a man was there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and Pharisees were watching him to see if he would cure a man on the Sabbath, hoping to find something to use against him. But he knew their thoughts. And he said to the man with the withered hand, Stand up, come out into the middle. And he came out and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, 
I put it to you, is it against the law on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil, to save life or to destroy it? Then he looked round at them all and said to the man, stretch out your hand. And he did so, and his hand was better. But they were furious and began to discuss the best way of dealing with Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the first reading, St. Paul uh, discusses a situation where, where someone has sinned and the actions that the community should take. And there's the punishment, he should be expelled from the community. But this also seems to be a, a ceremony when you are assembled together in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, yeah, there's, there's to be this uh, handing over to Satan so that his sensual body may be destroyed and his spirit saved on the day of the Lord. Um, something a, a little bit similar that we have, have today is in uh, Ceremonial of Bishops, um, where it's got at number 1070, uh, public prayer after the desecration of a church. Uh, crimes committed in a church affect and do injury to the entire Christian community and the church building, which the church building in a sense symbolises and represents. The crimes in question are those that do grave dishonour to sacred mysteries, especially to the Eucharistic species, and are committed to show contempt for the church, or are crimes, against, crimes that are serious offences against the dignity of the person and of society. Um, and so uh, some of the differences that this ceremony has is that um, uh, the altar of the church should be stripped bare and all customary signs of joy and gladness should be put away, for example, lights, flowers and other such articles. Uh, the lights there, I think, is no can meaning no candles. Uh, um, it describes a bit of the rite. Um, the rite most suitable for use in reparation for the desecration of a church is one in which the penitential service is aptly joined to the celebration of the Eucharist. So we, we have those sort of penitential services in the rite of penance. Um, and so with the altar stripped bare, it's not kissed at the beginning, uh, but you have uh, special intercessions, special, uh, uni a special pr universal prayer. Um, and after the general intercessions, um, the deacon and ministers cover the altar with an altar cloth and as circumstances suggest may place flowers round it. They also arrange candlesticks with the candles required for mass and if necessary, an altar cross. Uh, the gifts are received by the bishop at the chair and, uh, and then the next stage you have the, uh, the corporal purificator, chalice uh, and Roman missal put on the altar. So today for, yeah, for the universal prayer it, um, it says um, you can have uh, the general intercession should be carried out in such a way that besides the usual intentions, a fervent petition is added for conversion and pardon. And this, this may be patterned on the examples provided in the Roman ritual. So I'll do something like that uh, with today's universal prayer. To God the Father Almighty, dear brothers and sisters, may every prayer of our heart be directed, for his will it is that all humanity should be saved, and come to the knowledge of the truth. Give us the grace of true repentance. Be pleased to hear us, Lord we ask you hear our prayer. Pardon your servants and release them from the debt of sin. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Forgive your children who confess their sins and restore them to full communion with your church. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Renew the glory of baptism in those who have lost it by sin. Be pleased to hear us, 
Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Welcome them to your altar and renew their spirit with the hope of eternal glory. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Keep them faithful to your sacraments and loyal in your service. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Renew your love in their hearts and make them bear witness to it in their daily lives. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Keep them always obedient to your commandments and protect within them your gift of eternal life. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord may graciously watch over her and care for her. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For the peoples of all the world, that the Lord may graciously preserve harmony among them. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For all who are oppressed by any kind of need, that the Lord may graciously grant them relief. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For ourselves and our own community, that the Lord may graciously receive us as a sacrifice acceptable to himself. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. O oh God, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church. For you yourself are the source of all devotion, and grant we pray that what we ask in faith we may truly obtain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and Merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.